Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas week two. Welcome back. I'm so proud of myself for sticking to this and doing a Vlogmas week too. My name is Casey. For those of you that don't know me, I post about lifestyle, home decor, travel, just a bunch of fun stuff. And I'm really excited you found your way here. So we did a bunch of fun like Christmas stuff this past week of December, probably my favorite week of December so far. We really just got into the Christmas spirit and spent a lot of time together, which I really cherished and had so much fun with. So we started out the week by going to that little holiday pop-up bar that I told you guys about. My favorite thing to do is to just get on Google. Um, and I usually do this like in the start of December. I get on Google and I'm just like, we live in Jersey City now. So I'll just type in like fun things to do around Christmas time in Jersey City or like Christmas things to do around Jersey City. And I just go to a bunch of different websites and I'll kind of just compile a little list. I'll write things down of things that I think that Ryan and I would like to do or that we wanna do. Um, and so this place had popped up and it was called like Miracle on Mercer. It was a little overlay holiday bar situation. The place is normally called Franklin Social and we've eaten there before and it was pretty good. And so they have this nighttime experience. Um, it was really, really cute. The decor was so lovely. I feel like it was so warm. It felt like we were in someone's home um, and it was very much like the traditional warm Christmas lights, which I really love. We got some drinks. I got this like mint. It kind of tasted like a thin mint and Ryan got eggnog. He's obsessed with eggnog. I, I can't agree, but you know, we got some drinks. We also shared some appetizers and overall I'd say it was really fun. I think the theming was incredible. I will say last year we went to Cellar 355, which is another um, restaurant in Jersey City and they do a big holiday overlay too. And I think that I enjoyed that one more. It just felt a little more immersive and there was a lot of like fun surrounding it. Um, so I think I would prefer to go to that one, but if you live in Jersey City, why not go to both? So Ryan and I typically do our gift exchange during our little weekend trip, but we didn't want to have to pack all the things in the car and take them over there to just bring them all the way back to our apartment. So we ended up exchanging gifts the night before. Um, and we just kind of like sat by the tree. We baked some cookies and we gave each other our gifts. Ryan absolutely slayed this year with my gift. So I got a roasting pan and this is from the downtowner, which is my all time favorite little shop in Jersey city. They have a bunch of Chotskis. The owner Erica is so sweet. They also have, um, they bake pies, like it's, it's incredible. And then he filled it um, inside with a ton of, I took everything out, but with a ton of my like little favorite things. There were earrings and a lip balm and a bunch of cute stuff and it was just really sweet. I got Ryan some really high tech headphones that he can use when he's working and when he's talking online with his friends and stuff and a water bottle that he wanted to. And we had said like no gifts this year, we're just gonna do the trip, but we always, <laughs> I'm a sucker for a gift. I feel like gift giving is my love language. Gift receiving is my love language. I just love, I love to be thoughtful with my gifts and I love to see the look on someone's face when I absolutely nail it with like something that I know that they'll use and they'll love. And I think the headphones were a really good pick this year. So it was just really nice. And then our big gift to each other is our holiday weekend trip. As I mentioned, I did a video on my packing like process and routine while I was packing for this. Um, I'll link it up here in case you guys haven't seen that, but it ended up being such a fun weekend. The past two years, we've gone to Peddler's Village, which is absolutely beautiful. It looks like a little Hallmark town, but we wanted to switch things up this year. And so we chose Newport, Rhode Island. I have wanted to go to Rhode Island and Newport in general for a really long time. I've never been before, um, but it's just so expensive in the summer. Like we, I feel like every time that I go to look stuff up, maybe it's because we're booking it too late. Um, places are just so pricey and just for a weekend we haven't been able to budget it in and then I was curious and I was like I wonder what Rhode Island is like in the off season because obviously the prices for hotels were way less at that time and I looked it up and I saw that they actually really lean into Christmas it was so sweet it was honestly like the perfect coastal Christmas vibes so I'll kind of walk you guys through my little itinerary and give any tips in case this is a trip that you're thinking of doing or if you just want to go on this trip with us from the comfort of your couch okay so we we started our trip bright and early. We were at the car rental place at Hertz at Newport Mall at 7.45 a.m. They open at 8 a.m. and I booked the car for 8 a.m. And we will never go back to 
not doing that. It was amazing. We were the first ones in line. We were in and out with the car. Typically we have to wait in a line that goes all around the parking garage. It's just so crowded. So this was really great. And we got on our way. We picked up bagels from Candiano's. I feel like bagels are essential to a perfect road trip atmosphere. Um, so I ended up getting a bagel. I get a multigrain bagel, well toasted with sun-dried tomato cream cheese. And they chop the sun-dried tomatoes fresh and mix them into the cream cheese for you. It is one of my all-time favorite bagels. And so I was just eating that while on our way to Rhode Island. It was really a lovely trip over and there wasn't too much traffic. So we ended up getting there with great timing. We started by checking into our hotel. We stayed at Hotel Viking. This was such a lovely experience. It was such a cute and charming hotel. They had Christmas decorations. The staff was so nice and it just felt very like quaint and charming, but still had that bit of like luxury feel. The rooms were smaller than I was expecting, I will say, but it ended up being totally fine. It honestly even felt a little bit cozier for us. The only thing I forgot to take video of this, but the bathroom was really small and we had a like comically small <laughs> sink. Um, so there was wasn't like a counter or anything on the kitchen. It was just this tiny sink. And so I like just brought my makeup bag and just had it like sitting in the sink. Um, and even like brushing our teeth, we had to like tilt our heads at a certain angle. So I'd say that was my only like critique. I think if you're going for more than a weekend, that's something to think about. But we were just there for a couple of nights and it was totally fine. A huge perk to this hotel is how close it is to everything and that you can park there. Parking is not included with your stay and it is pretty pricey. I think it was $45 a night, but we just budgeted that into the trip. And it was totally worth it to just know that we had the rental car like somewhere safe and we could take it out also during the day whenever we wanted. And it kept that base like $45 price. And the location was everything because we could just park the car and then walk over to the wharf and the shopping and all of the like popular areas, which was really nice. It was a bit of an uphill walk on the way back. So like we, we got our steps in, like we were, we were good. After we checked in, we decided to go on a little stroll and kind of get a lay of the land, explore the area. We popped into some shop. We had to go to the KJP store or the Keel James Patrick store super popular influencer. I'm sure you guys have seen his very aesthetic videos. Um, Ryan loves his stuff and actually has a sweater from his brand, like a Thanksgiving sweater. So as a part of our Christmas gifts to each other, we wanted to gift each other a sweater from the shop. So we went, the decor there was beautiful not only during the day but even at night when we went back it was just it was the shop that stood out for sure um and we ended up getting ourselves some sweaters we went into this shop i want to say like three times as <laughs> we went the first time to just browse and then we were like trying to think on what we wanted went back we got to try things on the staff there was super nice and it was so easy to just get grab the sweaters and try them on right there which i'm really happy that we did but I'll show you guys what we got. Oh, actually, from one of the other little shops, Sincerely Eileen, the owner was so cute. She made all of these adorable like little cards. I fell in love with this little like mermaid character that she made. I thought she was just so fun. So I'm gonna put these on my keys. And then I also got this day by day calendar. Um, if you guys <laughs> know me by now, if you're subscribed, you know that I love calendars. I love writing things down and schedules. Um, I loved that this was pretty much a daily one. Um, I feel like calendars nowadays are so complicated. I, I just like it to be simple and just to be able to write a little bullet point. So this is just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend has some bullets and you can add in some notes as well. And I feel like this is such an easy thing to just keep on my desk, something that Ryan can check in on to see what we have for the week too. And it just kind of breaks up um, the week for me instead of having just the overwhelming monthly calendar only, you know? Okay, on to the sweaters. So like I said, we ended up buying each other a sweater. The packaging is also so beautiful. I love the little car with the Christmas tree, the whales. Again, it was just so, it was one of the most beautiful stores I've ever been to. So this one is my sweater. We'll do that one first. And I just, I loved the material of them. I ended up going with a very simple, just 
Newport. <laughs> it has a little bit of like a high neck and it's like a knitted material too. It feels nice and heavy. Um, I went with an extra large because I wanted it to be a little roomier and I wanted to be able to put um, like a long sleeve tee under it as well. But I really just love that it looks. It feels very classic and just a nice little reminder of the trip. And then Ryan's is the main event. He got a Christmas sweater. We love the car with the Christmas tree look. And so this is in sweater form. It's so cute. I love the pattern of it. And again, it's just a really thick, really nice material. The sweaters were definitely pricey. I'm gonna see, like this one was 148, but again, the material feels great. And I feel like this is something that we'll have for years to come and just a really special memory of the trip. Okay, moving on, we ended up having lunch at Brick Alley Pub. I had looked this place up in before and I thought the decor was so cool and Ryan would just really enjoy it. They ended up having a 45 minute wait when we got there at like 1 p.m. But it was great because we put our names down and then they text you when your table's ready. So we did all of the shopping while we were waiting for the table and then just made our way right back. I'm not a big drinker. I feel like alcohol usually hurts my stomach and I'm just, I don't usually drink too much, but we decided since this was the kickoff to the trip, I was like, I am gonna treat myself to this sparkling blackberry sangria that the waitress recommended and it was phenomenal. First of all, it was huge, but it was also just extremely delicious. It was the perfect touch of sweetness without being too sweet. It was just so good. And then Brian and I ended up sharing the calamari with banana peppers. We are calamari people. We love a calamari appetizer and this was fantastic. And then the main event was the buffalo chicken pasta. This was so good. It was like a cayenne red pepper situation. We love buffalo. And typically when we go to restaurants on vacation, we like to think like what's something that we don't eat back home or what's something that's different. So like the chicken sandwich looked really good, but we were like, no, let's try the buffalo chicken pasta um and it was out of this world i feel like i had chosen this place because the decor was cute but the food ended up being the star of the show so i highly recommend this spot it seems to be very much well loved by locals and just people in the area in general so make sure that you make note of the wait time if you go visit and then we headed back to our hotel to just like take a breather and then we went back out at night we ended up driving to this one because we went to the breakers mansion and this was a little bit further out not super far it was like a 10 minute drive we ended up parking like on the outskirts around the mansion tons of people were there for the breakers sparkling lights and this was so pretty um everyone that when i was doing research everyone was like you have to go and see the mansions but the mansions at christmas time it just felt even more special and the breakers does sparkling lights which they put these beautiful light displays outside and you're welcome your ticket gets you the cost of walking outside and also inside of the mansion um it was just so beautiful and just such a great way to have a first night to our trip. And then we went back to our hotel and passed out because we were just exhausted from day one. We tried looking for Shark Tank. I was so disappointed. We are Shark Tank hotel watchers, but there was no Shark Tank on. But we settled on How the Grinch Told Christmas, which isn't even settling because I love the Grinch. So the next day we picked up some pastries at the little market at the hotel, which was so convenient. They had these cinnamon sticks that were delicious. And we ended up going on a walk kind of not in the populated areas but a little bit on the outskirts and it was so beautiful we went to the water we were the only ones there and again it was just such a great way to like get our little steps in in the morning and have some time away from the chaos then we ended up shopping again this is actually when we bought the sweaters at the kjp store but we went to bowen's wharf which has just a bunch of shops and it's also by the water and everything is just really cute there so we went in and out of probably every single store in there we also stopped to pick up some cookies and it was just a really nice like low-key afternoon and then we stopped in for lunch at the black pearl i did make a reservation for this one because i heard it was very popular and i'm glad that i did because it was packed so we made a lunch reservation for 12 30 i believe the reservation was on open table and you had to put like a credit card to reserve it so make sure that you cancel on time i feel like a lot of the times with restaurants like this they're sometimes overhyped like when everyone is like Oh, black pearl, black pearl, but this was so delicious. We ended up getting the clam chowder. I love clam chowder and I was like, I need to have a clam chowder 
in Newport, Rhode Island. So we got the clam chowder. It came with a little oyster crackers. I loved that the clam chowder was like the clams and the potatoes were chopped really finely. So you got a little bit in every bite and I was a huge fan of that. And then I also, <laughs> I mean, go pick or go home. I got the like Cobb salad situation and then I added lobster salad on top and oh my God, it was divine. It came with a, there was a green goddess dressing or a shallot vinaigrette and I was like the shallot vinaigrette. If there's a shallot vinaigrette on the menu, I'm getting it even if it's not in the item that I'm getting. I love shallot vinaigrette. So I ended up getting the shallot vinaigrette and the, the lobster, it was a good portion of lobster salad that they brought. It was just absolutely delicious. Ryan got the chicken pot pie. It was so like warm and comforting. And I'd say that the atmosphere of the place was just really charming and really cute. It felt like we were in like old timey, like ship days. It was really nice. Then we came back to the hotel, took another little break. If like going to Disney has taught us anything, it's that you need a break in the middle of the day, especially when you turn 30, you need a break. We just like put our feet up for a little and then we headed back out to do the cliff walk, which was absolutely beautiful. I had read things about the cliff walk and I know that a lot of people do it in the summer. So I was a little concerned that it was gonna be too cold, but the weather actually ended up being perfect. It was sunny. We got there right as the sun was starting to set and we just walked all along. The employee who checked us in at the hotel made a suggestion that we just drive straight to the cliff walk steps park there and then decide to go left or right, which I feel was such a great suggestion. There was a ton of parking and we just walked right up to the steps, which was just an amazing view to start with. And then kind of went to the left, came back. It was just a great way to start because the cliff walk is long and I was kind of overwhelmed with like, okay, where do we go? We didn't get to do this, but if you end up going around the Christmas season, the Chandler Hotel has a hot chocolate bar and it ended up being too, it was closed by the time that we got to the cliff walk, um, but it sounded like a really fun activity and I saw people like walking around with their hot chocolates which I think would have been so nice with like the chill of the water okay then we ended up changing our schedule for this which I'm not gonna say is unheard of because I changed my mind a thousand times after I plan a trip but when I'm on the physical trip I feel like for the most part we stick to the schedule since it's like loosely planned um However, when I posted that I was in Newport, Rhode Island on Instagram, a few followers reached out to me and they said that we had to go to Gusto. And one of them had told me, she was like, my husband and I went on a trip last year and we loved it so much. We still think about it and think about like taking the drive over to do the tasting menu again. So we were like, okay, we have to try this. We have to go and do this. It's a little adventure. They only had a 9.15 PM reservation, which, Again, if you know me, I am, I work very early in the mornings. Like I am in bed by like 8 p.m. asleep by 10. So <laughs> the thought of doing dinner at that time, I was like, mm. But Ryan was like, we're on vacation. You know, there's high praise for this. Let's just do it and let's have like a little adventure. So I'm really glad that we went. The food was incredible. My favorite part was actually a hot chocolate that Ryan ordered before we even had our meal. It had like homemade marshmallows on it. It kind of tasted like a Ferrero Rocher, like a melted hot chocolate Ferrero Rocher. It was incredible. Um, and I do wish that the reservation was earlier in the day. I feel like I can't give it a fair rating because it was so late that my stomach was just like we are closed for business like <laughs> they were bringing the plates out and i was able to have like a bite of each thing but once we got to like the fourth plate i was like i i can't do this anymore and we ended up boxing it up in hopes that we would get hungrier like later in the day um but we didn't have a mini fridge in our room so unfortunately you know we weren't able to enjoy it later but i really really would love to go back and have like a dinner earlier in the day because what i did taste was absolutely phenomenal and i highly recommend going we ended up doing the tasting menu and i feel like it was such a good idea i'm someone that i love just having a little bit of everything. I, I like my meals to be well balanced. I like a cold component. I like something warm, something salty, something sweet. So the tasting menu is great. And honestly, not that expensive compared to like other tasting menus or omakases that I've seen. This one was, I believe, $55 per person. And you could also upgrade to add alcohol too. And then for our last day, I was so sad because we were gonna go to a flea market or just go back to some of the shops, walk around, grab some lunch before 
driving back, but there was a really bad storm on the horizon. There was a lot of raining. There was like storm warnings. So we were like, you know what? We should just get out of here earlier and just get back home get back safely and all that. So we didn't get to finish the trip doing as much as we wanted to do on the last day, which did make me a little bit sad. However, it just gives a good reason as to why we should come back. And I would really love to come back around the summertime. Our waitress at Gusto was so sweet. She actually managed Sunday in Brooklyn and lived in Brooklyn for like seven years. She just moved to Newport. I'm just telling you her whole life story. She just moved to Newport with her husband. But I love Sunday in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. It was one of my favorite restaurants when I lived in Brooklyn. So I feel like I was like, I can trust her. Um, and so she said that she loves living in Newport. Um, things that were different there are just obviously having to shovel your snow and that it's such a small community. But she was telling us about the summer and about like when they have yacht shows and all that stuff and that it really does get crazy crowded there. She recommended going in September, which is, she said, like not as high season, but you can still enjoy, you know, a little bit of the warmer weather and more of that like summer feel in Newport. September is my birthday. So I'm like, mm, maybe we maybe we do a little weekend trip <laughs> in September. Um, but overall, it was such a fun trip, such a fun experience. We're back now. Once we got back, the drive back was a little rough. There was a, like a bunch of traffic and I feel like the drive home always feels way longer than the drive to somewhere because you're not as like the excitement and adrenaline isn't there. Um, but we made it back, returned to the car. I took an everything shower. My favorite thing to do when I get back from a trip on the trip, Ryan was like, mm, your hair smells like clam chowder. <laughs> so I washed the clam chowder off. I did the whole thing. I did a hair mask, everything, the cleansing shampoo, all of that, um, and felt really great. And then just kind of relaxed for the rest of the night, did a little bit of editing. Um, and that was it. And now I'm gearing up to head to Miami for Christmas. So I've got like a bunch of clothes laid out on the bed. I'm packing up all of my stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm really ex excited to spend Christmas with my family. Um, we're Cuban, so we do a big like Noche Buena situation. And I just spend time with my parents. My friend Zena comes with us too. And it's always just such a great time. I am gonna miss Ryan a lot, but I'm really happy that we had this little Christmas weekend for each other. And that was pretty much my Vlogmas week two in review. We had such a fun trip. It was a great way to kick off the Christmas season. I hope that you all are enjoying the Christmas season and the holidays and getting into the spirit. Um, and yeah, sending you all the best. Happy holidays. And I will see you in the next one.